So everyone always talks about how expensive flight training is and how hard it is to find CFIs and a good flight school. And I found this really interesting flight school. So we decided to take a little field trip out here to Arizona and share it with you guys a place where the students are paid to do flight training and all their flight training is paid for them. So we're on a little field trip today to a place where the students get paid to learn to fly. Now, meet Jay, the chief flight instructor of this school. Jay, where are we and what is this place? Hi, we're uh, at LAT, Lufthansa Aviation Training here in Goodyear. So Goodyear, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix, is right where Lufthansa sends all of their new hire pilots with zero flight experience to learn from zero time all the way up to being a European commercial pilot to then go fly for the airlines. Our pilot school is a pilot school for the Lufthansa group. We do training for the students that are hired to go into the Lufthansa Group Airlines, as well as some training for the BW, German Air Force, and uh, ANA program. Now, if you're getting all of your flight training totally paid for, what does it look like to be a student at that school? So the student experience here is pretty cool. It's a campus environment similar mm -hmm. to like a university. Um, we have dorms on site. We also have uh, recreation facilities. They have barbecue grills, swimming pools. There's a volleyball pit. Um, they also have the opportunity for a cafeteria, a really cool cafeteria here, mm -hmm. um, some grab-and-go stuff as well as yeah. hot meals uh, like they would get at home. And then, of course, our flying operation, which uh, we, we'll get a chance to have a look at later yeah. today. So the students aren't really here getting an FAA license or certificate. Well, we use uh, U.S. flight instructors, and what we do is training in the FAA environment, but all of the training is under AASA regulations, and we prepare okay. them for AASA licensing, European gotcha. licensing. So you're still hiring U.S. CFIs. Correct. We're so con conveniently enough, I'm here, and I'm a CFI, Jay. Yes. I don't know if you knew that. I did um, know that, John. <laughs> yeah. And of course, if it is that good to be a student here, then... You can imagine it's probably pretty good to be a CFI here as well. If they treat their students that well, they probably treat their CFIs equally as well, if not better. And now you can probably start to figure out what I'm doing here. It's totally different than any other flight school in the United States, really. Yeah. That's not your typical, you know, part 61 or part 141. There's typically not a cafeteria on site, not dorms, and typically not a volleyball court um, and a pool to hang out by. Yeah, in between lessons. <laughs> yeah, we're very unique in that way that we yeah. have um, we have a full, the full campus which I described. Mm -hmm. we, we basically run our operation like an airline what the student will experience later. Um, and that's a really cool part of being part of an airline that we have those resources in order yeah. to offer them. In the fleet of aircraft, the students train in here, as you might have guessed, is also all brand new 2017-2018 amazing Cirrus SR20 G6s. Full avionics suite, autopilot, air conditioning, which that's pretty rare for CFIs to be able to teach in air-conditioned airplanes. And yeah, they let us play with their airplanes and go down to their private airport and just mess around all the time. Formation flying time. We're actually legit camping inside of an old control tower. Now I used to be an airline pilot and then I went back to being a CFI and a lot of people thought I was a little crazy doing that and thing that, you know, typically CFIs aren't paid very well, they have no benefits, they have no retirement plan, and there's not necessarily a way for you to move up as a CFI, you're just kind of always at the bottom of the rungs, so to speak. But that's not totally true and so when I left the airline to go become a CFI again, it wasn't that I was gonna go back to a 15 or $20 an hour job. There's actually really good CFI jobs out there. You just have to look for them a little bit. And I'm out here to find out all the benefits about being a CFI for LAT because eventually, if I stop making YouTube videos, I'm gonna need one of those Monday to Friday, eight to five CFI jobs again. Now meet Stephanie flight attendant turned CFI and is going through the INDOC program right now or the initial training as an instructor here at LAT. Jay said that I could kind of pick your brain about what it's like to work here and just, you know, overall CFI life, what it's like to get hired here and basically what the company is all about. Absolutely. So, yeah. Awesome. So what's the hiring process like then to be a CFI here at LAT? Jay was kind of telling me it was they bring you in kind of like INDOC, almost like the airline, because this is really yeah. like it's its own mini little airline flight school. Yeah. And so you're going through the in-dock or the training right now, 
and almost finished up with it. Uh, so they train you. What does it look like, really? You get here, you start day one, and you're paid day one? Yeah. Uh, um, we, I mean, and to my surprise, I actually found out at like a couple days before I was coming out that they actually were giving uh, assistant, uh, travel assistance. So mm -hmm. I got a nice check before that yeah. to kind of get me by. And then from day one, you know, we start getting paid as if, you know, we're employees. So mm -hmm. uh, we started getting paid as if we were already working. Which, yeah. But so you get your normal work salary. Is yeah. Being taught. Yeah. yeah. And so you're still getting flight time because you're still flying through your training. Yeah. They pair you up with, my understanding was like, you got the CFI trainees and then you're paired up with like an instructor or a managing pilot. And they've got then the normal line instructors that are in teams that report to managing pilots and kind of go up the pyramid, so to speak. So you've got your instructor you're working with for like two months or so is yeah, training? Yeah, it's been about two months, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So after training, what is it like to instruct here? Usually, uh, depending on your schedule, mm -hmm. um, you can show up uh, anywhere around 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Yeah. Um, and if you're showing up those er early uh, like that, it's usually you're done by maybe one or two. Yeah. So you still got the whole rest of the day to kind of, Yeah. You know, so you still got a lot of your own yeah. free time. So it's like a Monday to Friday, like eight to five-ish or even yes. less sometimes. Um, yeah, it's not crazy because it seems like they've got, how many students per instructor? Um, anywhere from two to three. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they ever go over three. All right, now walk me through all the benefits of working here for Lufthansa. Okay, so run me through the benefits of being an instructor. You've got cafeteria, you've got salary, 401k, health insurance here. So it's like a normal job. Mm -hmm. You get travel benefits, right? Yeah, uh, we have Lufthansa travel benefits. Yeah, so you can jump seat on Lufthansa yeah. and then their partners and stuff. Yeah. That was a really big thing I miss about working for the regionals was I gave my travel benefits. I have to buy tickets now and it's a bummer. Yeah, that, that, it was hard to, to quit my previous job and get mm -hmm. rid of those benefits. And yeah. Kind of excited to get them again. So after I'm done flying to all 50 states and making a whole bunch of cool YouTube videos about it on the vlog channel and on this channel, well, I'm probably going to have to settle down and get a real job. So Jay, give me all of your top reasons why I should come work here. Elevator speech, go. John, I think the uh, um, situation is really good for a flight instructor. If you're motivated by working with students who come to you very motivated, very willing to work, um, that's what we do here. Um, we, of course, have a great um, opportunity to have a, a life with mm -hmm. good salary and benefits. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're flying modern aircraft. Uh, so there isn't a place in the US, um, maybe in the world, that offers a complete package the way that we do here at Lufthansa Aviation Training. So great place to be. Yeah. And uh, when you're ready to give up your uh, YouTube channel and you want to come work for us as a CFI, you let me know. We've got a spot for you. Cool. Well, I, I accept. All I right. appreciate it. Thanks, John. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if. U.S. carriers and U.S. airlines start taking the same European-style approach to pilot training that Lufthansa has, would we have the same pilot shortage in the States that we do now if airlines paid their potential and future pilots to go through training and paid for their training and housed them and fed them and gave them beautiful, amazing aircraft to train in and gave them wonderful facilities to live in while they went through training and they treated their CFIs, the instructor pilots, this well and gave them salaries and 401ks and health insurance, dental insurance, vision insurance, paid vacation days, airline travel benefits, would we really be facing the same pilot shortage that we do in this country right now? Probably not. So now is probably as good a time as any to go ahead and wrap up this video. We've been here for just over a week or so and they've been super cool. They gave us free reign of the entire facility, let us hop in all their services, play with all their airplanes, play with their sims and stuff, just get awesome footage for the channel while we're here. Super nice people, amazing place. Place I'm considering coming to work eventually as a CFI, so hopefully they uh, will still give me a job and offer me a job after I've kind of just played around their facility the entire week. Uh, but either way, you guys probably saw throughout the video that, yeah, being a student here is amazing. It's not like being a student anywhere else, and they do flight training a very different way. The students have pools, volleyball courts, really nice dorms to stay inside of. They've got grills out by the pool they can cook for themselves, or they can eat at an amazing cafeteria that we ate at all week long. The food was awesome. They've got a 24 seven coffee shop. They've got a whole support staff dedicated to the students besides just the administrators and the CFIs. So they don't bother the CFIs with kind of the basic things that students might need while they're here from another country. So they've got just an awesome staff that's really dedicated to making sure that the CFIs, the pilots, and the students, the trainee pilots, 
are all treated right and they have a good experience while they're here working here. Well, everyone's working here because the students are actually being paid to learn to fly, which is also a, a very different concept from the US where we usually pay, you know, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars to learn how to fly and get all our ratings. So there's probably a cheaper way you could run this flight school. There's probably you know, you, you could pay the CFIs less, you could fly older airplanes, you could probably cut costs here and there, but they don't do that because they're not trying to turn a profit, they're trying to turn out a good quality product, and I wish more flight schools in the U.S. would take that mentality. There's lots of great flight schools in the U.S., but they're expensive, and they don't, I mean, you've got to balance that product quality with profit, right? You just, you can't make a huge profit and turn out a great product. Here, they've kind of sacrificed on the profit side to make sure they turn out that great quality product and it's a great place to work. So if you happen to be a CFI in the US and you're not really happy with the place you're working at, or maybe the flight school you work for doesn't give you health insurance and a 401k and vision and dental insurance, they don't give you 15 days paid vacation every year, they don't give you paid sick days when you get sick and you can't fly with students and they pay you anyways, they don't give you airline travel benefits so you can't jump seat on airlines, like you can here, you can jump see on Lufthansa when you work here, or Lufthansa, I really, am. it's taken me all week to try to learn how to say that, pronounce it correctly, but it's an amazing place, and like I said, it's a place I'm considering to come work, and if you're at all interested in working here, I really would recommend it. I wanted to be able to kind of showcase this week what it's like to work here as a CFI, because it's a really good place to work as a CFI. It's a, it's a place where they care about you, and they provide you a good quality of life. You get to work about eight hours a day, Monday to Friday. You get to have a life besides just flying. You still build your time, you still get hours. You're flying really nice airplanes, but you're paid really well. You've got all those benefits of a real airline job or a real corporate job. And that's just not really found often in the flight instruction world. All too often, you work for a flight school and you're just doing the grind, trying to get your hours, flying unsafe airplanes, doing so-so quality instruction. Here, it's not like that. You can feel really good about working here, and I know I would. So if you're at all interested in checking them out, links in the description below. Highly recommend you go ahead and check it out. Besides that, we got a lot of other awesome footage while we were here for the week, so I promise I will make some more videos about it and release those here on the Flight Training channel and a little bit on the Vlog channel too. If you guys have not already seen that channel, definitely check it out. But other than that, guys, you know the drill. If you can't fly every day, fly at MikeHelf.com. We will see you guys in the next video.